Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to be hosting the cocktail tonight um, to mark the beginning of the week-long trade and investment mission. And um, just a couple of things I need to spell out. Um, a great many Fijians, ladies and gentlemen, have found new homes in New Zealand. And a great many New Zealanders have come to call Fiji their second home. And simply put, Fijians and New Zealanders are the best of friends and we have an, have an opportunity to take that relationship to another level. I qualify that about best of friends, except for on the rugby field. And ladies and gentlemen, because of those shared characteristics and values, I urge you all today to think about uh, what we can do to bring us even closer and uh, closer together, and especially on how we can interconnect our economies uh, through increased trade and investment at the same time create more opportunities for growth and prosperity for, for our, both our peoples. I believe over the course of the day you've been informed of the various policies and strategies of the Fijian government. It provides an enabling environment for uh, business to flourish and all of these ladies and gentlemen have been possible due to the long-term stable and pro-growth policies of the Fijian government. The government's focus is also to ensure uh, strengthening of linkages between our micro and small medium enterprises with the larger businesses and foreign investors. We have various policies, ladies and gentlemen, that encourage grassroots communities uh, into business. And one such program is the micro and small business grant scheme that's run through the ministry. And through this grant, we actually provide support to micro and small businesses and therefore your investment in Fiji will be, will, uh, you'll be able to tie in with these small businesses and benefits will spread into the communities. I wish to reiterate again a call that we've made time and time again that Fiji is open for business and our economy has never been stronger or more resilient than it is today. And this is not something that we are merely saying. And our case in point is our strong economic performance has been acknowledged by the IMF and Moody's revised Fiji's credit rating upward to BA3. And Moody's gave Fiji a stable outlook on the sovereign rating, which has triggered more robust economic growth and economic diversification, which includes the tourism sector and also expansion into new industries. Furthermore, the Fijian government, ladies and gentlemen, has engaged with the Singapore uh, Corporation Enterprise to undertake uh, digital, uh, digital transformation of, uh, of government processes. And the SCE strongly believes that the Fijian government will achieve its vision of a digital Fiji. We have a great many export uh, success stories. The Fijian made brand of goods and services also is already reaching out to the four corners of the earth water, cosmetics, manufactured goods, foodstuff, telecommunication services, etc. And they are making Fiji a byword for quality in the regional and global marketplace. And several other regional and global uh, um, companies are doing the same. Fiji now is the new business epicenter uh, for, for business transactions. So ladies and gentlemen, while Fiji is proud of its many beautiful islands and exquisite resorts with close to uh, almost a million visitors a year. Not that that numbers matter. It's always about what we get out of it. We are so much more. And I invite you all to take a look at Fiji with fresh eyes. And as a thriving economy and a nation that has taken the challenge of COP23 presidency against uh, fighting against climate change head on, over the years, we have gained more and more confidence and we have huge potential than at any other time in our history. When a nation does well, as well as Fiji has been doing, businesses take notice and they've seen our economic engine churning and they want to be part of our progress and they are more confident than ever that they can succeed in the Fijian economy. But don't take my word for it, ladies and gentlemen, the trends are crystal clear. So tonight, I invite you all to be partners in building a new Fiji. And if you aren't already, and partners in strengthening our relationship. 
because if there's one overriding characteristic that we share as Fijians and New Zealanders, it is in our sense of confidence, technology. <laughs> it's called the silent button. <laughs> we have a great sense of confidence and eagerness to embrace opportunity. And just um, something that was left out of today's program, for those of you that may be interested, I think the, um, the Land Use Division out of the Ministry of Lands was not able to be present today, but for those that are interested in, in uh, large-scale projects and require land, that is another division that you can speak to where large tracts of land are available. <coughs> and if I could just explain the small mechanics of it, um, <coughs> landowners are able to deposit their lands within the land bank and sometimes it's quite large acreage uh, if you need it for agric agricultural purposes or manufacturing or whatever it is you can go get it through the land bank it's quite an easy process it is not in competition with TLTB it is merely a complementary process so those that are interested please get in touch with the Ministry of Lands so I'm going to close off by thanking all of those uh, who have worked so hard uh, to make this event a success and I leave you to explore ways in which we can grow our relationship further. So we thank you, Excellency, both of you, for all your hard work. And ladies and gentlemen, all of, the, all of you from Fiji, um, I'd like to pay a special thanks to the High Commissioner from New Zealand. Sir, welcome. I know I welcomed you before, and I think we have a wonderful opportunity to take New Zealand, Fiji, uh, to another place. And uh, he's a fantastic human being, and a fantastic individual and a fantastic High Commissioner. So welcome, sir. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Naka. <laughs>